When I was growing up, I was watching a lot of really old movies since my family really likes old movies. Like they never really focus on new ones. But one of my favorite movies that I watched when I was a kid was Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It was one of the most unique movies that I've seen. And till this day, we never really gotten a true sequel to it or something similar to that. Yeah, there has been movies similar to the whole gimmick of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. But we never got an actual true one until today. Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers is a reboot of the whole... Tr like, it, it's based on rebooting. That's what it basically is uh, referencing about. And I'm trying not to spoil anything because I just recently finished it at 3 in the morning. I stayed up all night just for this movie to release because I was very excited. And I am glad the directors did this so well. I'm I'm glad the writers and the directors didn't f*** this up because this is the true sequel of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. This was my childhood dream to seeing a, a sequel or some type of sequel of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. This is going to be an underrated movie because this has it's streamed on Disney+. Plus. Which is, I'm kind of sad about. I wish this was a, theor a theoretical release. But due to the success of Encanto and Turning Red, I feel like this is going to be really popular. I loved every single moment of it. I was smiling the entire movie. I, in the back of my head, I was like, please don't mess this up. Please do not mess this up. And they didn't. I don't know. I can't describe it. Like, I'm just, I'm just amazed and just so relieved that they didn't fuck it up i've seen the trailers and i was just spectacal but i was also very excited if you don't know what the plot is basically chip and dale it was an old cartoon show and they did it based around the the old cartoon shows chip and dale rescue rangers and i don't know one day they separated and now they're coming back coming back together discovering an old mystery basically rebooting the franchise that's what it basically is and I hope Disney doesn't pull, like use this as a gimmick to reboot the TV series and then, you know, make it awful. But seeing the reboot of DuckTales, seeing that how that's pretty good. If they do reboot Chippendale and Rescue Rangers, like me personally, I never watched it as a kid. I never watched Chippendale and Rescue Rangers as a kid. I'm just saying that. But I'm just, I, I'm speechless. I am really am speechless. Because looking at the movies that I look forward to besides Sonic 2... Most of them have been really shit, and most of them I've been have I've been really disappointed about. But this movie just hits me, man. Like I can't describe it. I'm going ahead and spoil it. Spoil one part. They make fun of the old Sonic design from the Sonic movie. Yeah, they made fun of it. And I was looking at Twitter, and I was following the Sonic because I'm a Sonic fan. So I was also really hyped about this. I was really hyped to seeing quote unquote ugly Sonic. They they call him Ugly Sonic in the movie. Which is really funny. And I went to the Chael, the Tales News uh, Twitter account that took a picture of it. And I read through the comments. And a lot of people were pissed. Why? Why were people pissed? They named it Ugly Sonic for a reason. They know that people were making fun of it. So, you know what? I can describe this movie. Fun. Fun. And people are ruining the fun. Because they are like... Oh my god, this is this is this owning the Sonic franchise because people are gonna know that ugly Sonic is a thing and they're gonna know that Sonic looks like that. No, no. No. This whole movie is just fun. It puts everything that doesn't take it seriously and they just put it in the movie. Like it is so good. I highly recommend it. It's a nine out of ten for me. Sure, the story was a little iffy or was kind of too predictable, but it was all in fun. And I enjoyed the hell out of it i highly recommend this movie it, it is based on childhood nostalgia and people are gonna hate on it but it's just all in fun and that's why i loved who framed roger rabbit who framed roger rabbit was all fun it didn't take itself seriously nor did chip and dale did and it, it had a lot of cameos and it had a lot of references but you know what it's all in fun and that's why i love this movie so much this is probably going to be one of my top 10 movies of the decade. Anyways, if you want more reviews like this, go ahead and leave a like and sub, and um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.